Hi, my name is Ashwin Subantur and I am an S3 instructor. Today I'm going to help you get started with using Model Builder in ArcGIS Pro. Model Builder is a visual programming language that can be used to build models of geoprocessing workflows. You can use these models to store, document, and even conduct further analysis. So here's an example of some data I obtained from Virginia. Let's say I want to understand the vulnerability of floods with regard to rivers and their next and closest urban areas. So first I want to head to the analysis tab where under the geoprocessing group I click model builder button. And here I have an empty canvas where I can build my model. So first I want to pick out the tools that would be required to conduct this analysis. So I go back to my analysis tab and click on tools. And here I have my geoprocessing search open up. The two tools in mind when it comes to this analysis. The first one is the clip tool. So I use my mouse to drag to my canvas here. And here I want to insert the two features that are useful for my analysis. So first I want to use the rivers feature. So I simply use my mouse and drag it all the way to my model builder here. And I also want to use the Virginia state boundary. Again, slowly drag it all the way to my canvas here. And I simply use my mouse where I get to this hand icon and drag a little arrow from my feature to my tool. And here I am specifying the model builder where would be my input features or data sets. So I click on my input features or data set option and then head to my Virginia state boundary and slowly drag it to my tool here. And that would be my clip feature. So what you see here is a first of my model is created. This model is going to clip my US major rivers within the Virginia state boundary. Now, the output features of data set can be renamed. So I simply right click and then I go to rename and I can type in my customized name. Let's say I call them Rivers in Virginia. Now, the uh, second tool I want to use here is to find out, again, the five mile buffer within each of these rivers in Virginia. So here I would go to the tools under the geoprocessing group and hit my buffer option. So I click on buffer and drag that to my canvas here. And what I want to do here is use the output from my previous analysis or the previous step to my buffer. And here I want to specify this being an input feature, the exact distance I want to use. So I want to right click, hit open, and under distance, I want to say, let's say a five mile buffer with regard to each river. And I hit OK. So what this does is use those features, major rivers in Virginia, clip them, to obtain the rivers in Virginia only and use that output to create a buffer of five miles that I specified to ultimately generate the output I want. Here once again I can rename my final output, call it flood areas. And if I want to make this look a little cleaner, I want to first uh, make sure that this model builder itself has is, has a fit to window option which nicely fits in. So I want to kind of uh, zoom it in nicely. I can also create an auto layout option where the features are nicely laid out and it's in one nice sequence. Now before I run my model, I want to specify the output that I want to see. So here I want to click on the uh, flood areas and say I want to add to display and then hit run. Once I hit run, all the tools have 
processed my data and I get, go to my map, I see that all the rivers within Virginia are showing a five mile buffer nearest to the urban area and this gives me a sense of which rivers are more vulnerable for flooding major urban areas in Virginia. Well, this was a, an example that you can build on and I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you in the next one.